So just the number of 30,000 kilometers in 100 days, that is mind boggling by itself. There were so many instances during that journey where anyone, any person would have found it very difficult to ride through. Forget a person who is 65 years old. There was this one incident that really shook me. Sadhguru had to ride all the way from uh, Abu Dhabi to Dubai. Most people in, in, in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, they don't really step out in the afternoon. And even if they do, it's in their air-conditioned cars. Forget riding exposed in the sun. They had one more event, which is kind of a three-hour detour, which demanded six hours of driving on a desert. When we left, it was already 40 plus. And uh, when we got on the road, we saw that there was just no other motorcycle in sight. It was just Sadhguru riding. When he was riding with a jacket, after 70, 80 kilometers, it became too hot. It's not only because of the weather, it's because of the hot air which is like coming out of the engine. At one point, I think it was easily 45 plus. With this hot air just hitting you constantly, the road was radiating heat. And then so we asked him, Sadhguru, can we stop uh, for, a, uh, for a break before we go? And he was like, there are people waiting for us. Let's not keep them waiting. Let's just keep riding. Then after a few minutes, we again asked him, like, can we at least just stop for just five minutes so that he can drink some water? Sadhguru reluctantly, like he just stopped. And then when we saw, like, we're in the desert and there's absolutely, there's no place for Sadhguru even to get shade. We happened to just find one, one leaning tree, which was there, which he parked the motorcycle just under the, under the tree and just stood there for a few minutes. Just with a few minutes, Sadhguru got back onto the motorcycle and he continued riding. He decided to remove his jacket, uh, but once he removed the jacket, it, the, he started getting too much beating from the air on his chest. So even that was quite painful at some point and it is like completely exhausting. On the way, there was an actress who joined us all the way from Indonesia to ride along with Sadhguru. She got off uh, the car, put on her helmet, and she got onto the motorcycle. We are in the car right next to her, and she's like, please stop, I can't do this, I can't do this. She was signaling us, okay, let's stop it right here, I can't do this anymore. So then we pulled over to the side. Just knowing how difficult it is, and knowing how arduous this journey has been, even for me, just for this many minutes, um, I'm looking And he continues riding all the way to Dubai. He kept on riding and um, it was like too hot outside and we can see Sadhguru literally uh, stretching his hands and legs and everything. Because he knows his body is getting dehydrated, so he wants to keep it in a way that he doesn't cramp. At some point, even the phone GPS went off because of the heat. After about six hours of riding, Sadhguru finally reached Dubai. But then uh, the traffic came. Because of the traffic, the bike started emitting too much heat on his thighs, on his chest. So he literally couldn't sit on the bike when the signal is on red. So he got off the bike and he was standing right next to the bike, little away and he was literally standing on the road on the middle of a traffic so that the heat from the bike doesn't affect him. Then he got on the bike seeing the green signal. And 
and then he went to the hotel. We, we parked in the basement. We gave him some water again, but this time he was way more dehydrated than earlier, that he was just pouring water on himself just to cool himself down like where his t-shirt was like half wet and he walked into a room where he just collapsed on the bed and like we just trying to help him uh, I just wanted to see like uh, whether we can take his boots off uh, I think where I accidentally just touched his anklet where it just completely burnt my finger if just that small piece of metal got so hot it uh, I wonder like what all he would have gone through. In 15 minutes we have to leave for the next event. I just couldn't get myself to tell him that Sadhguru we, are, we have to go for the next event. Within a few minutes Sadhguru just comes out of the room. Uh, he just wears his helmet, gets onto the motorcycle and we ride to the next event. And at that event uh, no one would have realized what he's gone through. t-shirt was still a little damp. He didn't even get a chance to change his t-shirt. So these events which are back to back went for about three hours and after that we had scheduled a few interviews as well. So by the time all of this got over and him getting back to the room to even take a minute's break or even get something to eat was midnight.